Hello everyone, Aaron Dolan here. In this video, we will explore how to estimate transistor beta using curves derived from the analog discovery device made by Digilent. Please see the link below to see how the device was set up and how these curves were generated. You'll recall that the vertical axis is the collector current You'll recall that the horizontal is the volts collector to emitter, and each curve is taken for a particular base voltage. Now the setup included a resistor, which I believe was 10K, and then the transistor, like so. Each curve, which is to say the collector current and the volts collector to emitter, was generated for a particular base voltage. For example, if we had two volts here, that would give us a current, a base current of approximately 2 minus 0 0.6 divided by 10k. So our base current is approximately 140 microamps. Now I say approximately because this number right here is an estimate. Typically, when a transistor is turned on, there's one diode drop, and we're assuming that's 0 0.6 volts. Now, it might be a little bit more, it might be a little bit less, but as I said, it's an estimate. Now, for the heart of the video, we want to calculate the transistor beta, otherwise known as the DC current gain. And that is defined as collector current divided by base current which in this case, at two volts, is approximately 23 milliamps. So that's collector current of 23 milliamps divided by a base current of 140 microamps, yielding a beta that is approximately 164. By the way, I should mention that this is a type M P S A 06 transistor, which is a small signal transistor in a TO92 type case. We can perform similar calculations for a type TIP41 transistor. Once again, we'll choose that 2 volt base voltage. So this line here therefore represents a base voltage of 2 minus 0 0.6 divided by 10k, which is about 140 microamps. As I mentioned before, this is an estimate because this number here is an estimate. Our resulting estimate for transistor beta, that's the DC current gain, collector current divided by base current, is, in this case, about 6.3 milliamps. So that's 6.3 milliamps over 140 microamps. So the DC current gain for the TIP41 transistor is approximately 45. In this graphic, we can see the characteristic curves superimposed over each other. The blue is our MPSA06, and the red is our TIP41. You recall we calculated gain based on the 2 volt line, which would be about here for our TIP41. The small signal transistor had a beta of approximately 160, whereas this TIP41 power transistor had a beta of approximately 45. 